suspected in this championship, it's coming right down to the wire. How about that shot by Dixon to level it? And how about this comeback by the Tomahawks? The scores are tied at 3 0. Looks like this one's heading into overtime. The Boilermakers must feel like the roof is caving in. You know, Torrance has got to be frustrated at the moment. The Boilermakers have blown a 3 1 lead, and Dixon's done a tremendous job shutting down Torrance. All right, here's the last chance before overtime. Dixon brings the puck through center ice. He's at the blue line. This looks dangerous. Steal, Torrance! I took the Boilermakers to number one and kept us there with the help of Harry Hardaway, our new center. When I first saw Harry, I knew he was destined to be one of the greats. And word of Harry's drug problem got out and signaled the end of his career. Rather than betray a buddy, I took the fifth. A lot of good it did me. My own career went down the tubes. My one friend on the force, Lisa Krauss, called the investigation dirty cops looking for easy money. She was right. All I had left was my nightclub, the Boilermaker, after my old team. Hey, there's nothing to running a nightclub. Everyone wants to be nice to you, right? Everyone wants to be your friend. <laughs> But I'm getting ahead of myself. Years had gone by, it was time to get out. But first I had to do some renovating. Of course it took longer and cost more than I planned, so I took out a loan. Hey, how was I supposed to know the finance company was a front for the local mob? Now Eduardo Caraballi, the head of the family, decided I owed him. As in, start fronting drug deals for me or kiss your butt and your club goodbye. Oh yeah, this is Frank Torrance. I'm confirming two tickets to Mexico City for the 7.30 a.m. flight tomorrow morning. My accountant had found a guy with enough cash to buy the Boilermaker, provided renovations were completed. He was to bring in over a million dollars that night. It was supposed to be in and out, no questions, no problems. Plus, I now had $450,000 in cold cash, Caraballi's drug buy money. All I had to do was get through the night and I'd be home free. I dodged the drug buy with the triads as long as possible, but they showed up at the club. Now I had to blow the deal in order to keep the money. Now, Frank, all you gotta do is stay alive. So what do you think, Frank? Good, huh? It's all right. It's good. We're expecting great. We're not selling door to door, Mr. Torrance. Carabelli gave us his word to distribute long term. And he will keep it. $450,000. Yeah, yeah, so bill me. T trouble, Frank? No trouble, Harry. They were just leaving. I will return, Frank. Frank, is that developer still coming tonight? Bringing a cool million three in cash. Think I'd take a check. Oh, here's two weeks severance and a bonus. Here, 
You might as well take these two. You're really gonna do it this time leaving? I told you I would. Harry? I, uh... I was just thinking how, how much I missed the game. You know, we really didn't realize how good we had it, huh? I made a lot of mistakes, Frank, and, and it cost us both our careers. I don't know how you forgave me. You, you, you covered for me, man. Jesus, what the hell is this? Heroin. Better clean this up, Harry. smoothly. Who's this? Sound of fucking close. Who do you think it is? Eduardo. Very good, Frank. We'll have to get you on jeopardy. How are the renovations proceeding? Oh, fun and games, but we're battling on. Very good. Very good. Did you get the merchandise? Well? They never showed. The triads never showed? Most likely tomorrow. Most likely tomorrow. It's been four nights in a row. Most likely tomorrow. Now you listen to me, you little shit. You got an additional $450,000 of ours in your care. If anything happens to it, you know what's going to be most likely tomorrow. My funeral? Yeah, well, technically you need a body for a funeral. Maybe a memorial service. But then again, who'd want to remember you? Thing. Frank? Yeah? It says he knows you, Frank. Wants a security job. Let's go. Oh, fuck off me, man! Hey. You want to try that on me? Hey, whatever you want, man. <laughs> you want to work security for me, you're going to have to do a lot better than that. Exactly, Mr. Torrance, but you did some time with Charles Oakley, right? Years ago. Well, look, I was inside myself. Tom Oakley. It's okay, Harry. Listening to the sweet sounds of Seven Soul on KO Love Connection. Hello. How's it going? Great, Frank. Great time of my life. You'll be happy to know we're leaving. Yeah, so you keep saying. All I see was a club weeks behind in renovations. 
No, I mean we're leaving tomorrow. We are? Yes. I finally got Limpow to agree on a price. He's taking over ownership tonight. That's why I've got the crew working around the clock. I've told him to bring the money in cash. He's paying three times what it's worth, but the ledger doesn't show that. So I've made up the difference in other areas. When he finds that out, we need to be long gone. So you think everything's going to go according to plan? Piece of cake. Nothing can stop us. Do you want me to confirm the tickets? No, I'll confirm them. You just be here at six sharp. Frank? Yeah? Be careful. Always. all I managed to salvage of the heroin. I, I don't feel too comfortable walking around with it. Maybe we should stash it somewhere like, like your office. Put it in the bottom drawer of my desk. Uh, okay. okay. Hey, Harry. Don't me to do that? No, I, I, I got it. Frank, you asked me to tell you when anyone's suspect came in, right? Yeah. Check out that motherfucker at 12 o'clock. I've seen him before, Frank. Works for the triads. Are you sure? You know, Frank, they don't go around wearing t-shirts advertising the fact. That's what I heard. Why tonight? I'm gonna go and ask him to leave. Follow me. Buy a limp out. What do we do? Change your plan, Tom. Keep an eye on him. Mr. Limpow, how are you? Very good. Frank, yourself? Oh, not too bad. This is Lau, my new accountant. Oh, how nice. Uh, how you doing, Lau? Well, shall we retire to my office and finish the deal? I notice you've brought the money. Oh, yes, yes. $1.3 million. But I think Lau wants to go over the book just one more time before we conclude matters. The books are in order. We've been through this a million times. Well, a million and one won't make any difference now, will it? Well, I wasn't expecting this. Uh, see, I need my accountant. Tonight's not a good night for me. We will reconvene tomorrow night. No, no, please, take a seat. He won't be long. I'll get him down here. Very well, Frank. You've reached the service of Larry Auto Accountancy. I've flown to L.A. today and will be back Thursday afternoon. However, I will be routinely checking the messages, so if you need me urgently, leave your name and number, and I'll get back to you as soon as possible. Larry, urgent is a major fucking understatement. I need the B-Ledger for Limpow tonight. The son of a bitch wants to go over the figures yet again. I think he knows something's up. I need to get a hold of them tonight. Or if you can arrange with one of your colleagues to fill in for you. Well, you'd better give him the lowdown on everything. Look, I'm definitely out of here tonight, so call me at the club or page me on 555-4678, page 122.
Piece of pie is going to cost you 500 bucks. 500? Look, you got it for 45 minutes, okay? 500 for 45 minutes. Make that 44. If you understand any talking and arguing, you consider yourself extremely lucky. I'm an old fan. Careful, it's kind of slippery in here. What's the matter? Uh, 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 you all right? That's what you call a slap shot. Torrance, I hear you owe some friends of mine some money. Well, you heard Rome. Hey, watch the floor, it's slippery. Mr. Torrance, if we do not leave here tonight with $500,000, you will be, uh, how do you say? Dead. That's exactly how you say it, all right. Though your delivery's a little uninspired, maybe next time you could say something along the lines of waxed or Frank, you'll be taking an unexpected trip south. What's with this Mr. Torrance shit? You guys are so formal, loosen up a bit. My name's Frank. The friendly approach is always a more intimidating one. Well, I need half a million dollars, Mr. Uh, Frank. Or well, you will be moving west, uh, south. You'll, you'll be moving south. Uh, yeah, not bad, not bad. <laughs> oh, gotta go, gotta call my accountant. <laughs> I feel that you are not taking me very seriously, Mr. Frank. What makes you say that? Storeroom, throw them both out. Fix this light, clean up this mess. Frank! I don't have time now, Harry. Frank! Detective Dexter, what an unexpected displeasure. Well, Frank, unexpected is the only way to catch slime like you. Oh, slime? It's a little harsh, don't you think? Harsh, but honest. What can I do for you? Well, you can make things easy. Tell me where you stashed the heroin you bought for the Caraballis this month. Heroin? Caraballis? 
That imagination of yours is really running wild these days. Was it my imagination that put you behind bars 13 years ago? No, I believe falsifying evidence is the correct terminology in that case. Pity in your part is most of it didn't stick. But just enough time to give you taste of life behind bars, eh, Frankie? Oh, look, I got nothing to hide. I'm clean. That's a fact. Then you won't mind opening your wall safe. Please. Well, normally I'd ask for a warrant, but seeing as uh, I got nothing to hide, you did ask nicely and you have no life. What's this? It's one of the bit. It's the business ledger. Sold my apartment. I thought you rented. Nope. Frank, whenever we put the squeeze on the Garibaldi's, they use some poor dumb schmuck as a front man till things cool down. Well, a little birdie has told us for the next six months you are the front man. A little birdie's got its facts wrong. It would make this 450 stolen property. I could detain you on suspicion. Oh, and risk a false arrest charge? I got a better idea, Dexter. Why don't you find the heroin first, then you can arrest me for dealing. And the 450, while that evidence can simply disappear like it always seems to when you're involved. What are these? Travel brochures. You know, they give you details of travel destinations. Yes, Frank, I know the function they serve. What the hell are you doing with what? Who are you, my mother? Well, that informer also suggests you're planning on shafting the Garibaldi's. I hate telling you out of town after you collect on this dump tonight. It is tonight you'll find yourself. Actually, I think that's enough now. You're not going to find anything. Move your foot and let me be the judge. <laughs> What's your fucking game? Huh? I can get a search warrant. We should be in within one hour. Well, you go get your search warrant and you can continue. You can tear the fucking place apart. But right now, I've got a club to finish, and apart from being a fool with a badge, you're wasting my time. Now, get out. <laughs> OK, tough guy. You want to play it your way. You want to fuck with me? Hmm? Beautiful. Beautiful. Hey, Frank. Beautiful. Uh, yes, hello. I'd like to speak with Detective Krause, please. Oh, I see. Can you have Lisa call Frank Torrance? Yeah, she's got the number. OK, thanks. Well, Mr. Torrance? How about some champagne to celebrate the deal, Mr. Limpow? I think it's been long overdue. Louise, uh, arrange some bottles of Dom and some glasses for this table. Mm -hmm. I need to talk to you, Frank. Are you kidding me? There's only a little domestic left and some nutcases destroyed the storeroom. You're kidding. Hmm? Pour it into some glasses and bring it out anyway. They'll never know the difference. OK. <sighs> Would you like me to put this in the safe for you, Mr. Limpow? What we want is to see your accountant, Mr. Torrance. On his way. So is Christmas. Larry? Mr. Torrance? Yes, sorry. Who's this? This is Jane from Southeast Airlines. Yes, Jane. Uh, there's been a slight problem that I have to make you aware of, sir. Your flight has been overbooked, and I'm afraid at this stage we cannot confirm seating. That's a little more than a slight problem, wouldn't you say? Get me on another airline, any flight to Mexico. There was a mistake made, sir. I can get you on standby, sir. Standby? Your airline lied to me. 
It fucking lied to me. And you want to put me on standby? Listen and listen very carefully. If I don't make that flight tonight, I'm dead. So you better pull a fucking rabbit out of the hat. Bitch! Southeast Airlines, Jane speaking. Uh, yes, Jane, this is Frank Torrance. Oh, you fucking bitch. He's leaving. Who's leaving? Mr. Limpop, please. I'll be right with you. My accountant's on his way. We don't like to be made fools of, Mr. Torrance. Well, who does allow? Please take a seat. I'll take care of everything. I'm giving you two hours, Mr. Torrance. Please call me Frank. Two more hours, Mr. Torrance. I'm concerned about But if the government doesn't do it, there's nothing I can do about it. He's playing big bucks. Do you understand? Hey, this is a very scary thing. I'm concerned myself. Excuse me, can I have a word with you? You can fuck off. We're leaving. She's got another job, okay? This is a matter of life and death. Can't we work something out? Don't bullshit a bullshitter, okay? You need her to keep your pigeons from flying away, all right? I'm a businessman and you're a businessman, and the price just rose to 4,000 in cash right now. Well, let's see if you can understand this. You're gonna leave your girlfriend here. I'm gonna let you walk out of here. You ever try to come back in, you'll never walk again. Hey, fuck you. Ah! I think we both know what I could do if I had to. Be careful! Be careful! Ah! How about I give you the money? Let me get this straight. You'll pay me personally? Yeah? What do you want to give that little scumbag his percentage for anyway? It's the way it works. He gets paid to mind me. Speaking of which, where is he? He's retired for the evening. Then ask her. No, look, no. I'll pay you $2,000 for a couple more hours. A thousand an hour? Yes, yeah, split it with him later or whatever you do, but I need you to stay. Southeast Airlines, Jane speaking. Frank Torrance here. Look, I'm sorry for the misunderstanding before. Misunderstanding, was it? No, there was no misunderstanding, sir. I understood everything you denigrated me with. Yes, and I apologize for that and for raising my voice, but this flight is extremely... Mr. Torrance, I have not taken you off standby, although I could have. Now, currently, there are still no seats available, and if the situation changes, I will contact you immediately. Thank you very much. I appreciate... Executive stress? Lisa, how the hell are you? Better than you, it appears. God, you're great. Oh. Come, have a seat. You didn't need to come all the way down here. I, I had a visit from you know who we dropped in tonight. Yeah, well, that's why I'm here. I have a few answers about you know who. I hear you're selling up. Where'd you hear that? Words out on the street. How would you know about the street? Aren't you still on restricted duties? No, not anymore. I just got back last week. 
You know, I can't believe they're trying to spend you for trading shots with some psycho intent on killing you and everyone else in a convenience store. Yeah, well, once you have a blotch in your record, you seem to lose that benefit of the doubt. I'm the one that put that blotch on your record. I suck everyone into the Frank Torrance vortex. At least that's what Sandy calls it. Yeah, well, Dexter's the one who should have gone down for that one instead of you. I tried to prove it. Yeah, well, in a perfect world, he would have. Unfortunately, you and I were born into this one. By the way, how is Sandy? Hanging in there. Is she excited about leaving? Well, I think we leave's the word. So you are leaving? I just don't want anyone to know. Well, you know, Dexter sure as hell knows. He's out to get you. He's always gunning for me. That's what makes a son of a bitch so predictable. Yeah, but this time he's gonna do whatever it takes, if you know what I mean. Set me up? Do you trust everyone here? My workers? Yeah. Well, I hadn't thought about it. Story of your life, Frank. I'd like to help you. Yeah? Yeah. As long as I know. Know what? That I'm clean? If you just tell me straight, Frank, I'll believe you. Lisa, you know me better than that. Yeah. You know this side of town's not gonna be the same without Frank Torrance and the Boilermaker. A lot of people are gonna miss you, Frank. And not just the ones gunning for you. Lisa, I just need some air. Frank? Hey.
crazy nut, you know that? It's a beautiful night. Yeah? Got any marshmallows? Take a little trip to Mexico, huh, Frank? So I can't change your mind? Yeah, you probably could. That's why I'm not gonna listen. Look, I have to get out. You know I have to get out. It's not just what's happening now, it's everything. I'd give anything to be anonymous again. I'm public property, I'm a target. People think they own me, for Christ's sake. So you fight back, you stand up to them. I mean, can't you see you letting them win? And you know I'll be there, Frank. I know that. You're always there for me. And I always will. God, I wish you could be different. But it ain't gonna be. Will you ever come back? Oh, I don't know. Yeah, I guess. When things have cooled down, when people have found someone else to harass and I'm long forgotten. So I can't change your mind? Afraid not. Oh, you can't blame me for trying. Your two hours is up, Mr. Torrance. Where is your accountant? Frank, call Larry urgently. Speak of the devil. He's probably stuck in traffic. At 2.30 in the morning... Larry? No, it's your wife, Sandy. Sandy, I'm very busy. Well, excuse me for breathing. I'm sorry, what's wrong? If I told you, would you really care? Of course I would. Sometimes I wonder. I've got a lot on my plate tonight, that's all. So you got problems and you take them out on me. I'm sorry I was wrong, okay? You think that fixes everything? Apologizing? It's a start. It's up to you if you want to try and understand the pressure I'm under. I find it hard sometimes, I'll be honest with you. Sandy, are you with me or not? Yeah then nothing else matters. I want to spend the rest of my life with you. That's why tonight has to work for me. I don't have time to explain myself, but I'm acting this way for us. I have to be out the door at six. I hope you're there with me. Start blowing your little horn for me. Stay in put. Trust me. I heard different. Are you sure? Of course I'm sure. I don't think he's planning on shafting you or anyone. What about the triads? Well, as far as I can tell, the triads didn't show. Just like he said. Tom, your old man crossed me. Eduardo Caribelli, and now he's dead. You want to end up like him? Look, I'll keep an eye on things. I'll inform you if things change. Fuck you, Eduardo. Now, where is she? Hey, Frank. Tom. This place is gonna look great when it's finished. Are you sure you really want to sell this place? You had the chance to come out, and you didn't. What are you doing? I just came over here to get us a drink and he came out of nowhere. Get your drink and get back there. How do you like it? How did this rat get back in? I don't know, he's supposed to slip past some sort of sci-fi. Right. Right, motherfucker, you're dead!
You know, I've been hearing that line for 10 years now. But if all you scumbags get together and rehearse or something, fact is, I'm not dead, I'm alive. When one of you kills me, then I'll be dead. You are now, Mr. Has Been Hockey Player. Wait a minute. I want to talk to you. Get over here. Get over here. Get over here. What the fuck are you two doing? Oh, get in, you walking steroid. Every, every person I ever meet is an idiot. Well, well, I don't <laughs> Frank, too much to do here. Well, what are you doing? What sort of credentials he's got? Where's oh, Frank? Frank, 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 Look, Frank, put me on the door. This guy's useless. Oh, you gonna leave her to handle everything? You worry about yourself. Get the bitch! Help yourself! What's your problem? Hey, listen, Let this coke head off the door then! No way! Much to you, Wait here. Cut out of heart! Can you help me? Yeah. What, 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 what is your problem? <laughs> what is what, 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 Concentrate on what's happening! What's the matter with you? Duck! You can't see what's going on, are you blind? Just get on my face, man. Something that stuff up your nose, man. It's going straight here. Fuck your act together. Fucking fist. Professionals. Yes, you can kick, you can punch, you can duck, you can weave. Let's see you block a fucking grenade, big boy and wonder slut. Anytime. Just don't die on me, okay? You all right? Yeah. Thanks, I'm all right. I feel like it's gonna be one of those nights. Yeah, no shit. I don't know about you, but I could use some coffee. S sorry, Frank. Harry, the cops even smell drugs in here tonight. I'm finished. You understand that? I'll do better. I'll get rid of it. Oh, yeah, you get rid of it. I know what you get rid of it, Harry. Straight up, you know. Shut up. I, I don't know what you're doing here. I, I, I don't want you here. Frank, I don't need him here. Oh, is that right? Lunch is too bad, because I am here. You need all the help you can get. You're a mess. Everything was fine until you showed up. Uh, is that a fact? Well, looks like my timing was perfect then. Pretty yours up in the Twilight Zone. Will you two both shut up? I want that fucking money. Really overflowing with confidence, aren't you, Harry? Just... Fuck. Uh, okay. Harry, what happened? Oh, look, we had some trouble outside. I took care of it. How are you doing anyway? Tom Oakley. Harry, you okay? I'm fine. Beverly Hotel. Uh, yes, Frank Torrance here. I need to speak with Larry Hotto. Oh, you just missed him, Mr. Torrance, but he did leave a message for you. Can I have it? Yes, he said to tell you he'll be back in 30 minutes, and he will call you then. Oh, 
are all going down. Now, I told you to have this trip today. What, what are you doing? What are you doing? Huh? Are you listening to me? What, you eating? You sleeping? I doubt it. Huh? Get it together. I'm not kidding. All right? All you people are going down. We're going to burn this joint down. Okay? You're the first one to go. The first. Can you tell Frank that I have to serve out for a while and I'll be back? Harry, can I have the key I gave you? What? The key? The spare key to my office? That Tommy guy came up and got it, got it about an hour, hour ago. What? He said the construction guys needed to have a look at the plans. Well, why didn't he come and get me? He said that you were busy with someone and, and, and had, had authorized it. Do you really think tapping Frank's phone is going to be of any use? Charles, what are you doing this side of town? Helping a friend? Yeah, well, I think you better get out of here, detective, now. Or does Dexter have you, too? Can't you see he's using you? Uh, no, I guess we're all just blinded by greed and whatever the charge you care to fabricate. Fabricate? Fabricate. Well, hey. we'll just see who's fabricating what. You better hope this is legitimate. I'm taking you all down on this one. Borrowed the key to my office. Why? Construction guys need to have a look at the plans for the main bar. You think I've come in here and stolen something? Is that what this is all about? You're calling me a thief, Frank. You wearing anything? Anything like what? Like a wire? Oh, you nuts, man. You're not Dexter's inside man. I'm no one's inside anything. Who the fuck is Dexter? A cop. Stand up. Oh, Jesus. Take it easy, Frank. I'm no cop, OK? What about the Carabellis? What about them? You heard of them? Yeah, I heard of them. You work for them? No, man, I don't work for them. I'm sorry. I'm paranoid. This place is driving me fucking nuts tonight. Look, Frank, I believe in now, this. I go with the flow. Adapt. Besides, it's all fun and games so someone puts out an eye, right? What the fuck do you think you're doing? Nothing. He's nuts. Let him go. He won't find shit. What about the drugs? What drugs? The quarter key of heroin you told Harry to stash in the bottom drawer of your desk, remember? Terrence! Terrence! <laughs>
Okay, fire in the hole. I'm sorry, boys, I didn't hear. Were you knocking? Okay, tough guy. You thought you'd play it smart. Well, here I am. We'll do this the hard way. I'm gonna turn your place upside down. Oh, we'll turn away. I've even opened the safe for you. Oh, there's $450,000 in there. I trust it'll all be there when I return. Oh, let me get out of your way and you can start. Hold it. You think I'm stupid? Oh, only slightly. Hank, frisk every part of him. Twice. Yes, sir. Get to work. It's nice. Give me some salt and glass of water. What's wrong, Mr. Tyres? Are you stupid or something? I mean, how many times are I gonna keep kicking you out of here? Get out of here, come on. It's the last time I'm gonna tell you, and I just beat it. Go and beat it. That's him, okay? Remember, I'm paying you good money, so don't fuck up. Hey, hey! Special. Well, then get the fuck out. <laughs> you treat all your customers like this? You're obviously upset about something. I don't know what it is, and quite frankly, tonight, I don't give a shit. So I'll make you a little deal. I make this shot. We let bygones be bygones. You go your way, I go my way. If you don't make it? If I don't make it, I do what I do best. Beat the absolute crap out of you. Oh, guess what? I missed.
the hell have you done with my phone? It's the matter, Frankie. Are you upsetting you? Frank, where are you? We'll call you back on your office line in 20 minutes. Larry. Shit! Frank? What? Tough night, huh? What are they looking for? Drugs. Drugs? You're involved in drugs? Of course not. So that's why you're leaving, huh? I'm not leaving. I wish that were true. Louise, I'm married. And at the risk of sounding pitiful, you're young, it's all ahead of you. You can do a lot better than me. I doubt that. Enjoying yourself? Sandy, you're early. You bastard. Wait a second. Look, when you calm down, I wasn't doing anything. Tell it to the judge. I'm getting a divorce. I don't need this shit. A divorce for one kiss? You trying to tell me that you haven't fucked her? I'm not trying anything. I am telling you I haven't. Bullshit. Look, she's young and confused. Oh, yeah, and I bet you took full advantage of that after everything I've been through for you. Listen, will you calm down? I don't need this. I have enough to deal with at the moment. Yeah, I bet you do. A failed business, a drinking problem, and a marriage on the rocks. It's the first night I've had a drink in months. I don't care. I want a divorce. Just like that, you want a divorce? It's not just like anything. I haven't seen you in months. You've been out all night, sleeping all day, drinking, smoking, gambling. I've never gambled in my life. Oh, yes, you have. You've gambled with me and with your marriage, and you've come up craps. Sandy, I run a nightclub, hence the name, and surprise, fucking surprise, I work nights. You think this is fun? I hate this goddamn place. Living like a frigging vampire. You lose your sense of reason, your sense of perspective on everything. But in less than two hours, it'll all be behind us. Two hours. You want to throw away everything because you saw one harmless kiss? I don't know what I saw, but it sure as hell wasn't harmless. Look, you can't even begin to imagine the night I've had. I wouldn't bet on that. Sandy, a lot has happened. I admit that. But we just got to pull it together one last time and we'll make it. I need you to stand by me. Will you do that? Do I have a choice? Of course you do. Do you have the Lexus here? Yeah. Go and wait for me then. I won't be long. My lawyer will be in touch about the door. Well, Dexter, what's the matter? Come up empty? Maybe and maybe not. Well, here I am. Arrest me if you've got anything. Or did a certain someone forget to do something? I don't need any cheap tricks to bust you. Well, at this stage in the night, if you want to impound that 450 in cash, you need something. You're a loser, Frank. You'll always be a loser. It's in your blood. Ain't nothing ever gonna change that.
store. Hey, hey, we've lost sound. Could be interference. Wait and see if it comes back online. You know, this is why I've honestly become numb. It's a short, sharp pain of being stabbed in the back. Which is probably the reason I'm such an easy target these days. Don't understand any of, of Frank. Understand? Understand what? You swore to me. You fucking swore to me. But he still got the dirt on me to put me away. Well, so once again, it was you or me. Dexter wants to name behind bars. He, he wants Frank Torrance. Frank, we went from a championship season in my rookie year to a 15-year suspension. We went from heroes to villains overnight, and I can't be... Because of you. Because you look for the fast buck. I covered for you. It cost me a year inside. You've never learned what it takes, Harry. You could have been one of the greats. You just threw it all away. I got nothing now. You, you got this. What I got is mine. I want for it! You should try it sometime, Harry. You planted something, didn't you? Vault. It's, it's in the vault. Open it. I, I don't know. The, the combination. Open it! Open it. Honestly, Frank, the safest way you open one. Well, I'm thinking of a seven numbered sequence with over 5,000 possible combinations. You got exactly five seconds. Amazing, Harry. Should have bought a lottery ticket today. I get the shit. Get the shit!
still nothing. Let's move! Standing over Harry, managed to take him out. Goodbye, Dexter. Or should I say, ciao? You've already demonstrated twice tonight you have a nasty habit of returning uninvited. You want to finish it here now, Frank? All you have to do is open that fucking mouth of yours again. Sandy. I saw an ambulance. Go and get the car, take it around to the alley, and meet me at the side exit. Five minutes, Frank. Five, I swear. Sandy, use the side exit. Frank. Tom, lock up. Yeah. It's all done, Miss Tart. Thanks, Louise. You can go now. Frank, take care of yourself. It's Larry, my accountant. Where the hell have you been? I've been trying to reach you all night. Larry, I need the books. Limpass accountant wants to go over them again. I know. I got your message. I found you an accountant, my new partner. He's on the other line. I've told him everything. He'll go through the books with Limpow. OK. Can he come to the club now? Hold on. I'll just switch to the other line and ask him. Hello, Frank. Yeah. He says he's already there. He's where? At the club. His name is Lau. See you later, Frank. Okay, Larry. Thank you. You were right, Mr. Limpow. The ledger was a fake. You're gonna sign over the ownership and give us the money in your safe. Now open it. I don't have a safe. Oh, that one. That's empty. 
That's not what your accountant says. Apparently, you got the money that belongs to the club and a little bit extra. Now open it. the real ledger. Tell me something, Frank. Does someone ever get used to finishing second? Or does it sting a little bit more each time? How does it feel, Frank? It stings a little more each time. Once again, the wheel turns. Come here, you. Take it easy, Frank. Take it easy. Let's stop, right? Let's stop. Ah, ah, ah. Drop the briefcase. OK, OK. And the money. Oh. You can go now. Oh, and tell Larry he's fired. You want to know how it feels? Well, what do you know? It's empty. Now get out, your bean counter. I said you can go now. <laughs> You're an accountant, right? to hear from you. I told Eduardo on the phone that... Yeah, 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 yeah. We know what you said on the phone, okay? We don't fucking trust you. <coughs> this his wife? No, let her go, man. She's got nothing to do with it, Carl. You telling me what to do, you fucking piece of shit? Hmm? Look, Carl, you gotta tell Eduardo you got this Frank guy all wrong. Get out of here! Just giving us the money when we wanted you to, Frank. Huh? Want the money, Frank? If you've got any money, Frank, I think it belongs to us. Carl? Hi, Frank. 
Eduardo heard you're leaving town for a while, so he's not very happy about that. If there's anything I can do... Well, you can die. Guns down. Put your guns down! Dexter! Dexter! That's enough. Let's get the hell out of here. I'll kill him, Frank! Just like that! Frank? Shoot him!
okay? I guess so. Yeah. Thanks. No problem. Are you okay? Son of a bitch was supposed to be under suspension. You believe that? They found Lisa's body. Bastard killed her. I don't think we're going anywhere fast. I know you're disappointed. Maybe it's a blessing in disguise. Stain? Oh, I doubt it. Oh, we'd be on the run. Now we can start again. really turn this place around. We? Do you hate this place? It's kind of like you, Frank. So it has a way of growing on you. 